Tonight we're following breaking news in St. Tammany and Jefferson Parishes. We begin in Jefferson, though, where Eyewitness News has just learned of an arrest in that hit and run at Lakeside Mall that left a woman with serious injuries. And that happened Thursday afternoon in a parking garage. Paul Murphy joins us live with more on the arrest. Paul? Karen Ton, just within the last half hour, we learned that a 25 year old Destrahan man has been arrested in connection with that very serious hit and run here at Lakeside Shopping Center. According to the JPSO, Cameron Sears of Destrahan was driving a 2008 red Nissan Armada through this parking garage near JC Penney when he hit a 61 year old Metairie woman and drove away. Deputies say Sears struck the woman from behind, fracturing her skull and causing other injuries. According to the JPSO, Sears apparently was moving a co-worker's vehicle around 1.30 yesterday afternoon when he hit the woman. Witnesses were able to capture the vehicle's Louisiana license plate as it fled the scene. That led them to Sears, who we're told has an attorney and did not make a statement to detectives. Shoppers tell us Christmas shopping is stressful enough you shouldn't have to also worry about getting run down in a parking garage. I think it's a disgrace if he didn't stop. I mean, that, he has to realize she is someone's family. Inhuman, that's the only thing I can say. And not just only Christmas, it should be pouring out enough of love, sympathy for everyone, trying to show that you care. And Sears is expected to be booked with hit and run and negligent injuring. The injured woman, we're told, is still in the hospital in serious condition. Now, Sears does have a prior criminal record in St. Charles Parish, which includes a first time offender guilty plea in 2011 for hit and run and possession of drug paraphernalia in 2013. And details of that first hit and run were not immediately available. And uh, we should say that, uh, again, the woman uh, that was has the fractured skull remains in the hospital this evening. We're live in Metairie, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.